hello everyone you're welcome to this video if you're new to this channel my name is moyo and you're so welcome to she bites i make videos all about food faith and lifestyle and today i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful delicious refreshing and lovely watermelon granite so we're going to start off by making an infusion using the zest of two oranges and two limes to this you're going to add um, about 100 grams of white sugar you could also use brown sugar and you're going to cut up one knob of ginger along with 500 milliliters of water you're going to bring this to a simmer and leave it to simmer for about 30 minutes until all the lovely flavors and essential oils are nicely extracted you can also use other forms of citrus for this for this recipe we're going to be using half of a large watermelon um, we're going to basically remove the pulp or the fruit of the watermelon separate it from the seeds and then we're also going to clean the watermelon bowl or the watermelon casing so that we can use this as a nice serving bowl but the easiest way to remove the fruit from your watermelon definitely keep watching i can explain it but you can definitely see it and understand it much better Now that you've scraped your watermelon bowl clean, the next thing to do is to start the entire mixture for the granite. You're going to juice the two oranges and limes from which you got the zest. You could also add grapefruit, tangerine juice or other kinds of citrus fruits. Then you're going to add the deseeded watermelon. This is actually the most tricky part. You need to just take your time and remove all this as much of the seeds as possible from the watermelon fruit or watermelon pulp. Then you're going to add your infusion of um, ginger and orange and lime zest and then you're going to blend everything together until it forms a smooth paste. Some people like to strain their granite mixture before they freeze it but I don't. I just like to have you know those kind of fibrous bits in there. After all it's a fruit that's high in fiber anyways. Then you're going to pour it into a freezer proof container I first tried to use this plastic container but it was much too small and I switched to a standard baking tray. You don't want your mixture to be more than 3-4 to four inches thick so you want to use a wide tray as much as possible. If you have a blast chiller or a very active freezer then this is going to be easy for you. But if you have a freezer that there is stew, there is pepper, there is different things in it and people keep opening it then this is going to take a bit more time. Normally you're supposed to flake your granite mixture after every 30 minutes but if you have a less powerful freezer you want to leave it first of all for four hours flake it and then be flaking it every 30 minutes for about two hours after that until you have this nice flaky texture that holds its own ground on its own and is frozen evenly all the way through granites like this made of wonderful fruits like watermelons are great for this kind of december tropical weather you want to place it back into the lovely bowl that you prepared before so you can serve it with some amazing, amazing aesthetic. This granite can actually stay in your freezer for a long period of time, but you want to then divide it into smaller containers so that it can stay frozen nicely. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, and share with your friends and your family who you think would enjoy it also. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!